we are given these two disks so one is rotating with omega 1 vector and one is rotating with omega 2 vector and their moment of inertia are given so when they are put on each other so the resultant combined disk rotates with omega so we need to find this omega as the first part and second we need to find the work performed by the friction so i didn't mention but yeah of course the surface is rough between them so that's why they will start to rotate with the common angular velocity after some time so when that does happen what is the angular velocity and what is the work performed by the friction so it's not that we are going doing b part first it's just as i found this space here so let's do the a part first now frictional force is internal so we can conserve angular momentum about the axis so i1 omega 1 vector plus i2 omega 2 vector is equal to i1 plus i2 omega vector which gives omega vector to be this now second part is work performed by the friction so that is the only force that's acting and doing any work on the system so work done by friction is changing kinetic energy so final kinetic energy is half i1 plus i2 omega square minus half i1 omega 1 square minus half i2 omega 2 square now you can put this value of omega here and you can technically say that that is the answer because everything which we have here is given in the problem so i1 and i2 is given and omega 1 vector and omega 2 vector is also given so you can say that is the answer but we are going to simplify that a bit and let's see how we do that so whenever we have something like uh, a variable the magnitude of a uh, vector square and that vector is written as a sum or difference of two vectors then we always write it in the form of dot product of the same vector so omega square we are writing as omega dot omega and now if you put the value of omega here and do the dot product with this with itself we get this so omega dot omega if you do you are going to get this this term in the brackets after that is we are going to cross multiply this i1 plus i2 here and if we simplify that we get this so work done by friction comes to be this into omega 1 square plus omega 2 square minus 2 omega 1 dot omega 2 dot product of the vector so we know this term is omega 1 vector minus omega 2 vector the magnitude of that whole square so this is the more you can say concise way of the same solution which we found here so quite interesting result because you can imagine if omega 1 and omega 2 are same and then if you stick the disk to each other so you can imagine there is going to be no sliding and if there is no sliding work done by friction must be zero so that's what we are getting here and if omega 1 is in opposite direction of omega 2 then the friction is going to act the maximum and that's when we are going to get the maximum work done by the friction for the same magnitudes of omega 1 and omega 2 so when in the same direction work done zero opposite direction work done maximum all right